guys? Going on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we have ordered some Panda Express because we figured everyone's been asking us questions. <laughs> so loud. Everyone's been asking us to do a Q&A. Not everyone. A lot of people have been asking us to do a Q&A. And we're going to do one today, but why not make it a mukbang Q&A? I don't know if I'm even saying that right. I, was, I, I keep asking. I'm not, not too sure if it's mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. Anyway. Either way, we've ordered Panda <laughs> Express because this was our medium alternative because Zachary here wanted to eat something healthy. But I yeah. was like, mukbang is a fun when it's like... KFC. Eating unhealthy food is more fun. Exactly. <laughs> so this was our, I know people are probably going to be like, Panda Express is not healthy, but compared to KFC, I feel like yeah. it's healthier than KFC, no? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Got our really, really big cups of soda. soda. We're actually in uh, St. Louis right now in America. For those of you who might be wondering, yeah, we've been in America for like five days now. We did New York first. We just left New York, came here, and we're going to a ball. A ball. I think I've got yours. Yes. <laughs> That's exciting. So Do we're going to be. You're going to have a ball with? gown, and I've got a tuxedo, which came in the wrong color. Yeah. So yes. I'm really excited. I never went to a school formal or anything, so I've never really got to dress up in a in a gown. Yours is lovely, by the way. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, he hasn't seen me in it yet. Well, but... you've seen me in one, and uh, it's the wrong colour, and it's a little bit too <laughs> it's big. It's a little bit big. So, <laughs> anyway, Stop. shall we get started with the questions? I think so. Yeah, but first. But first, suck back some food. What? Fried rice, <laughs> chow mein, beef with broccoli, spring rolls, and what's this called again? Cashew something shrimp. Cashew fried shrimp. Cashew shrimp. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, so we, we're, we're pretty uh, similar with our tastes actually. So our, our meals are pretty similar. I got boiled rice, uh, beef and broccoli, um, some teriyaki chicken, and chow mein. So it's basically the same, but just a little bit different. What's different? Oh, I got, I got spring different rice. rice. I got you got fried. spring rolls. Of course I did. Of course you did. Here's your little sauce. <clears throat> we wrote down a list of questions. Um, a lot of them were the same, so I've kind of just like yeah. picked, I think I've got like Sports nine, session. nine or ten questions, mm -hmm. um, and just like compiled a little list of ones that were being asked the most. So lucky I'm not wearing white, if I'm like sliding in. Oh, yeah, I know, I wore black too. I feel like it's going to go everywhere. So I guess we'll get started with the questions. You go with a the question, then I'll ask <clears> the next one. Okay, good plan. But first, let me take a bite. But first. <laughs> because we, we actually ordered this a while ago and then we we're waiting for robes to come. <laughs> and we're like, oh no, we're going to be halfway through recording. And they're going to come knocking on the door and it's going to ruin it for everyone. So it's on the verge of getting cold. It's on the verge of getting cold, yeah. And I was saying to Zach, I can't eat this food <coughs> if it's cold. <coughs> Asian food is one food that, like, if it goes cold... You reckon? Oh, oh. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you don't eat pizza when it's, it's leftovers either. But if I had to choose between Asian... Or Italian. Cold. Mm. Pizza cold. Mm. What about pasta? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Alright, let's get into the question. How did you both meet? <laughs> well... It's a very, very, very romantic story. It's a short one as well. Um, Very romantic. I <laughs> I just found her on Instagram and, <laughs> and shot her a DM. Yeah, kind of like tried to, tried to slide in. You slid in the DMs. I yeah, I saw the DM from this guy. I'd never seen you before, um, and I think it just said hey. With a waving. With, with a waving, waving man. So smooth. Uh, so okay. super smooth. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Yeah, that prawn. Mm. That prawn, though. So yummy. Hey, I haven't had any yet, but I had it at the you need airport. To get into it. Our journey here was so long. We stopped in LA, Houston. Where else? Well, we went to New York, LA, Houston, New York, and then from New York to St. Louis. Long, long trip. Yeah. So, next question What was your first date? <laughs> Um, not your typical first date, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Because Zach, when we first met, um, lived in Melbourne. 
lives in Melbourne. He used to live mm-hmm. in Melbourne. And I now live in Melbourne also. But I was in Sydney. I'd been mm-hmm. in Sydney my whole life. And I remember that we were like talking to each other and trying to figure out when you could possibly come to Sydney for us to like, properly meet. Mm-hmm. And um, he gave me his schedule and he was like, I've got this, 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 and this. And I was like, all right, then I'll see you at Christmas. Like, Super busy schedule. Never going to see you yeah, with so that no kind time. of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gave me like the busiest <laughs> schedule ever. And I was like... Just made it up. Cool. But you didn't actually say you were going to come to Sydney to meet me. You were like, oh, I might come to Sydney to see my mum. Oh, well, yeah. I don't want to be like too overly keen for what happened next. Definitely <laughs> happened. Then for some reason, like we were talking about your schedule and in the schedule was a trip to Thailand. I think a tattoo studio had like sponsored you to to go to Thailand. Yeah. And you were going on your own. Still hadn't met yet at this point, literally just like conversations on the phone, text messages. Um, And he just threw it out there. He was like, why don't you come to Thailand? And your response was an instant. I (laughs) I thought he was joking. I put the pressure on a little bit. What did I say? So you called me and you were like, I'm only gonna ask you once. (laughs) I'm only going to say this once or something. It gets funny every time. And then I was like, yeah. And you were like, you, you, let me know if you want to come. Lock, lock like, I'll talk to you in the morning. And, like, <laughs> and that was a Actually, no. Like, our phone calls were always really great. That's Some how I knew. the best knew. combos I had. That's why I was so sure that I wanted to um. To That's how I knew how much I maybe. liked you. Because I remember I would get off the phone and my cheeks would be sore. Yeah. From I'm how so much cute. we were laughing. So do I. And I was Next like, question? Uh, is it mine? No one else is that cool. <sighs> <laughs> Are you up? Mm-hmm. Um, what were your first impressions of each other? Well... When we first actually met or when we first... Yeah, I think well, it has to be a meeting because otherwise it's not really... Face to face. So what happened was the Thailand thing, I, I eventually said yes and jumped on a plane to Melbourne, mm. met you in Melbourne for the first time, you picked me up from the so, airport. Yeah. So and the then we went to Thailand, Yeah. which, so it was kind of like our first date was a trip to Thailand, but I did meet you for like 24 hours in Melbourne. Yeah, not even. Not even 24 hours. So I guess my first impression of you when I picked you up from the airport was, I was like, fuck yeah, she looks exactly like she does on her Instagram. Because <laughs> I was like, well, oh, yeah, it could have gone two ways. I was like, she's beautiful. And, um, and then we started talking and honestly, just the way that we vibe and your sense of humor and just how real you are is... Is fucking amazing. So I was just refreshed because I was like so happy that you were, I guess, genuine and oh yeah, exactly the way you portrayed yourself and just beautiful. And even more funny in person. Well, way funnier in person because, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, my first impression of you. Oh, here, we, here we go. <laughs> well, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so I remember I got out of the got off the plane. I went into the bathroom and like checked that I was looking cute enough. Fresh. And then I was so worried. So I wasn't like overly nervous, but I was just worried. <laughs> this is so stupid, but other girls might be able to relate. It was super windy. It's always super windy <laughs> in Melbourne. And I was like, I'm going to walk up to the car and my hair is going to be like, hey. <laughs> sexy, just like, sh- just like, no, not sexy no, no, though. It was like uh, stuck on my lipstick. Anyway, I sorted it out on the, ele- on the escalator. And I remember I walked up and I knew what car you drove because it's like all over your Instagram. So I knew that it was your car. Mm. And you jumped out, and I was like, holy guacamole. <laughs> Just what like that? beautiful man. <laughs> no, I thought you were super sexy. Yeah, but what about my personality, though? Um, you <laughs> seemed nervous when we first met. I was? Yeah. I was. I was like, oh, he's not as confident as his phone calls. Yeah, because as soon as I realized you were actually, like, as hot as you looked in the picture, I was like, damn, I'm going to step the fuck up here. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> I remember, like, our first conversation was just about the music you were playing in your car. Well, we both listen to similar music. And then I think I cracked a hilarious joke, as always. Yeah, you did crack a funny. And then you kind of relaxed, like you were like... Yeah, you was like, she's cool mm. and hot. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Well, that's my first impression. I don't really talk about oh. what I think right now. Can you please pass me the phone? I got the next mm. one, I think. Mm-hmm. This food's good, by the way, but it's going cold. It's going cold by the minute. Like, we need to get into it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what are your diets like? So you skipped one. Well, okay. Do you guys work out together? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm like asking you. I'm like, do you guys work out together? <laughs> do we? <laughs> not like necessarily. It's not like we're doing the same workout. Yeah, but we go to the we gym to the together. Gym, yeah. Like religiously. Every kind of like, morning. Yeah. 
It's every like a, morning, and when we're at home, when we're on holidays, it's a different story because Annalise gets tired. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, literally, we go down in the morning and get something in, do something like physically active, and then come up and get on with the day. But mm. yeah, on holidays, you're a little bit schnoozy, aren't you? Just here, yeah, like the time difference is really messing with me. Yeah. When I wake up here, it's like one a.m. at home. Yeah. And I really feel like it's one a.m. when when we wake up. Typical jet lag. It's Your alarm you. goes off and I don't even hear it. And you're like, babe. It's got you. But right. yeah, we do work out together, but not together. together. I do ask Zach's advice though. Yeah. Like people would tips. think it was so stupid if I was dating Zach Smith Fitness and didn't actually get some advice from him. But before I met Zach, I didn't work out that much. I was, I was, I always ran a bit of yoga, mm. lots of cardio, but didn't really lift much. And mm. it was more so because I didn't know not what to do, but How I just didn't want to be one of those people in the gym that was doing something wrong and that you would end up seeing a YouTube video about like that fail gym that, fails or something. Yeah, gym fails. I didn't want to be a gym fail. So <laughs> just I didn't want to be a gym fail. <laughs> I would I would have I don't know, who knows, but I just it it gave me a lot more confidence actually going to the gym with you because I could be like, Oh, is this how I do this? And yeah. then I can try new machines and stuff. Some and positive reinforcement for sure. It's good to be able to answer your questions when you need them so you're more confident. Mm. All right. You what me? are your diets like? Well, for the most part, pretty pretty good. I think we have separate answers to this question. Yeah, well, I'll go first. Um, they're, for the most part, pretty good. I try and work off trying to be as healthy as possible with most of the meals during the day, but almost every day I'll have something that's, well, how would you describe it? Questionable. <laughs> so, like, not super bad in the case of, like, a few thousand calories of, like, sugars and deep-fried fats and... Just something that's tasty, a tasty treat, or like something that's like a pastry or something of that nature. You do love sweets. Uh, well, I don't Chocolate think I do. I prefer like a burger and, and chips over, over ice cream, but it's like... But if anyone's going to suggest dessert, <laughs> it's this man here. And okay, here's something about us and our relationship. We just love to eat. Like, when we came together... I already love to eat. But Well, of course, but... <laughs> When we're together, we just love to do it as like a, it's like a hobby for us. Like we it's like, like going a, to nice it's restaurants. It's like those food connoisseurs. Critics even. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go places and we're like, mmm. Well, it's not as good as the last one. But it's better even. <laughs> <laughs> in a posh accent. Not in a bad way, but like. No, we're not, we're not food snobs. We're not food snobs. We just like good food. We don't care if your place is like the dung da da dung dung of dungs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got, as long good, as we've got food. good food. You've got to check the ratings. That's another thing, like... Read reviews. Yeah, the reviews. <laughs> read the ratings, read the reviews. But we also get really obsessed with one place. And just we'll absolutely smash, smash it. Every day we're like, dumpos. <laughs> dumpos means dumplings, by the way. Like, our whole life is a ninja. It's so like, just <laughs> me and you. <laughs> we can talk about another language and no one even we're, knows. We love Asian food. Because for the most part, it's really tasty and but more healthy. not as bad. Yeah, more healthy, not as bad. That's probably my answer. So my diet isn't as good as it should be. Um... I've always watched what I ate. I've always been able to lose weight when I want to by, re by restricting certain foods. Um, dairy doesn't suit me. Gluten doesn't suit me. I say it doesn't suit me because I still eat it, but it's just not very good for me. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> I eat like loads and loads and loads of fruit. When I am trying to like, I don't know, if I've got something coming up, if I've got like a shoot or I'm going somewhere to some kind of event or something, I will just snack on fruit like all day in between my meals um fruit really suits me i don't know i know a lot of people say that it's got like a lot of um fructose, natural fructose sugar. but it suits me like when i eat it everything's everything works mm. everything's regular <laughs> 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 yeah. oh my face recognition didn't work on your phone yeah because it's my phone oh so yeah my diet's not my diet's not bad but predominantly asian foods Always, I think that since meeting me, you've eaten a lot more Asian food. 100%. Have you not? Yeah, because I love Asian food. Yeah, not just because it's like a little bit healthier than other foods. It just tastes amazing. Yeah, fuck yeah. Like, <laughs> my input. Should have married yeah. an Asian man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, have you met each other's families? Yes. Yeah, this Christmas, it was good. We we did both over one Christmas. On but the that's 23rd. not when we met each other's families for the first time. Oh, I'm just saying we did a... Yeah, okay. Well, do you want to get, go into the details of, like, when? Yeah, how quickly did I meet your mom? 
It was like only like a month. Well, like something. as we said before, it was like, oh, I'll come to Sydney so I can see my mom, and just like just so happened to see you as well. So I was like, I always try and do a trip after the Thailand before trip. we lived together. We tried to do I tried to do trips to Sydney where I'd be able to see my mom and Emily. So it just so happened that I, I was like, mom, come down to Sydney because she lives in the Blue Mountains, and then um, we met together. So it was only after like a month, mm, probably. And like I'd met your parents beforehand because you're living you're living with your parents. Yeah. At your family home. No, it was the same weekend that you met my parents. And was that I the met same one? Mom. Yeah. Huh. We met your mum for lunch and then the next day we did dinner. So we've done a couple of like times where we've done both families. Mm. And Christmas is another one. 23rd, we did my Christmas on 23rd and then on the 25th we did your family Christmas. When we met, when I met Zach's mum for the first time, she had caught the train from Blue Mountains. Because it's like, what, how long is the trade ride from Blue Mountains to Sydney? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. And she liked it. She was talking about how she just knitted on the on the train. But it's like the most nerve-wracking thing, meeting your boyfriend's mum for the first time and then having to drive her somewhere. Because <laughs> we were in Sydney and I had my show. car. <laughs> I just like was so nervous. I is just he, remember I was so nervous. Is he safe I was like in the car? driving the whole uh, time. Uh, oh, does that mean you can't use it anymore? No, I'm a grub. <laughs> I know that I'm more of a drug than you. No, here, yeah, yeah, I'll just laugh it. What's the three second rule or something? <laughs> I got it's whatever second that you pick it up. Yeah, I was just remember I was nervous because I had to drive your mum around. Not around, I had to drive her to where we were having lunch. Good and then she made a remark about how I was a really friendly driver because I said sorry to someone because I like cut them off and I was like, oh. I love getting five star ratings. I think maybe she might like me. <laughs> <laughs> Does she like me? Five star rating. <laughs> she said something like about it and I was like, oh. But Zach's mom is the coolest ever. I met your dad too. I've met Zach's dad. It was weird meeting your dad because it was like an older you. Like he uh, looks like you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. Like the features. I was just like, hey. Just older, no hair. Yeah. Dad, you're probably watching this. How you got ready? <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. Mm, how long have you been together? Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight months. Been together for eight months. Mm. I actually asked asked you on my birthday. Mm. So, like. We're gonna have to switch that because your anniversary, your birthday, so it's gonna be taken over with our. Yeah, could we make it like a couple of days before or something? Let's make Double a month before. I feel like I've known you forever. Nine months. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's today. Let's celebrate. <laughs> celebrate with a mukbang. <laughs> celebrate with some shrimp. Alright, what's next? I can't see. Do I need to quickly do a cut and check if it's recording? Why would it not record? I don't know, just in case. Just never know. Imagine if you got to the end and all of Or just eating all the food. <laughs> I'm gonna go check. <laughs> We can cut this out. No, I don't want to. It's recording. <laughs> 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This one. What do you both do for work? Uh, I do a couple of different things. But um, yeah, one of them is a travel, travel company. We do tours. It's called Legacy Training Tours. I also have an online coaching platform and website, which is zacksmithfitness.com. An app. An application as well. Um, Zacksmith Fitness app. And then I've got an apparel company as well. So all apparel. of it is like social media based? Yeah, yeah. So all of it's, um, the traffic is all driven from social media and uh, yeah, just got kind of like lots of different avenues and um, income sources. Mm. Yeah. Before I met Zach, I've been working for my family's business for I think five years, nearly six years, mm. um, doing their accounts, like their bookkeeping. Um, definitely not the job that I was overly passionate about. <laughs> it was amazing working for my mum and dad. Um, they're the coolest people that you'll ever meet, ever. But yeah, I, I was actually already had it in my head that I wanted to get out of that and I didn't know what I wanted to do. But during working for them, my Instagram was steadily growing just from me consistently posting. And yeah, just I was getting like small little um, collaboration deals with brands and things and I started to make money um, off my Instagram and then I met Zach and it was almost like meeting Zach was like the courage that I needed. I gave you a bit of courage. Yeah he did and because he lived in Melbourne I ended up cutting down my days at work 
um, so that I could spend more time in Melbourne. And I realized that I was getting by fine with mm -hmm. the less amount of days at work with the pay. Yeah. Um, and then I just bit the bullet and took the leap. Took the leap. Proud and moved to Melbourne. Proud and you. big steps make big changes. It's scary. Um, it's because it's inconsistent work and you don't really know when you're going to have another good deal. Um, but it's been a blessing working with some brands because they do more long-term deals. Um, so you can know that, you know, next month you're going to be okay. <laughs> you're going to be fine. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so my job at the moment is just my social media. Um, but I really enjoy it because it's actually something that I'm more passionate about than sitting in front of a computer all day and Absolutely. and reading. Well, you're much more happy now. You were meant to do that until the end of the meal. I am at the end of my meal. Oh, you finished? Yeah, yeah so it's cold. Sure. It's cold. It says, your sense of humor is a joy to all. A joy to all. I said that really weird, didn't I? A your joy to all. Your sense of humor is a joy to all. Your sense of humor is a joy to all. <laughs> well, that's questionable. Um, <laughs> no, you are on. very funny. Yeah. I say all the time. You're so funny. What's the next one? Mm. Do you have any more travel plans together? Well. Well, yeah. Zach just mentioned his training. Training tours, tours yeah. Company. My aim is to tag along on nearly all of them. I don't know if I will be able to, but on as many as I can, because I am just doing Instagram full time now, I have the flexibility to be able to travel yeah. more. And I want to see a bunch of new places. And we want to fucking and we want to vlog. <laughs> and we want to vlog as much as we can as well. So going to different destinations is exactly perfect that's what to I show you say. guys. Yeah, yeah, as much as we can. But that's like that would be the that would be the cool part about mm. it is if I did go with you. Yeah. So whatever tours they have coming up, check their Bali Instagram. in March, Bali and then March. Thailand in April. Not that we haven't done Bali. But a million times and, and Thailand again in April Bali. and then we're going back to America for an American tour in LA and Vegas uh, in September. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, what's next on the list? Every time you open it, it's well, like not getting off. So the next question is, how old are you? Easy. I'm 28. So Zach is an old man. 28. That's not that old. No. But I, I don't feel old. I feel healthy and fit and good. <laughs> Oh. I said it as if I was like convincing <laughs> I myself. Healthy. I feel healthy and happy and good. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm mean, sure. Oh. This is all I mean, I could be five years younger, but. Uh... But I feel like you've done a lot for your 28 years. Yeah, I'm ready to retire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish. How old are you? We're going to be an old couple. Well, yeah, we do have a lot of spare time though. <laughs> we could just say friends. Uh uh, no, I was definitely not going to say friends. We definitely don't have we lots have of friends. What? <laughs> that would have been so good. Hey, it looks like there's a fly on your arm. Um, it's oh, not just a fly. Bring look, I hope you guys can... You're not going to eat this. It actually looks like a it little looks... mini rat. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Annalise is 23. I'm 28. Five year different. That's half a decade. If it was in school, it'd be weird, but we're out of school, so that's okay. But we actually do come across some things where Zach's like... Oh, do you have a blah, 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 and I'm like, no, I wasn't born. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I've got heaps of memories when I was like five years old. Oh, do you remember this? Oh, that's right. You weren't even in existence. There's a TV show that Zach talks about, and I'm yeah. like, I've never seen it. And then he shows me on just, YouTube, and I'm like, I feel like this is just like what my mum and dad will do. <laughs> just missed it. <laughs> do you both deal... Right? How do you both deal with negative comments? Hmm. What negative comments? <laughs> negative comments? What do you mean? <coughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I actually have a cough. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, it's it's quite simple for myself. I think um, I've been conditioned to getting people throwing shade and hate on, on things that I do for a while now. Um, having my own YouTube channel and, and being on social media for like six, seven years now. And I think it's just, it's building resilience to it and realizing that if you're doing something to, I guess, better yourself and make other people better themselves too, then it, it doesn't matter what people say about you. Like it, it shouldn't have any weight to it. If people have a negative opinion on what you're doing, if what you're doing is of value to other people, I really don't, I really don't care. Or even if it's time. not, if you're doing nothing, you keep it to yourself. Yeah. And I mean, you never see, happy people don't throw shade. So it's obviously... That's my people... biggest thing. Like I literally look at any time, any time that we do get, or I get, whatever, any we kind get... of like negative kind of vibe i'm just like 
sad. You must be kind of sad. Mm. I mean, yeah. You don't for see... me, I know for sure, until I met Zach, it probably used to affect me more than when I, than now that I know Zach. I think because I see you handle it so well, mm. and it just doesn't even affect you at all. Mm. <clears throat> I've dealt with not the nicest kind of, I don't want to say not the nicest people, but you know, like I was bullied in school, so I was used to um, negativity being thrown at me, but... This is a whole other thing when you're, when you're reading comments from people that you've never met before. Like, that's the number one thing, I think, advice that I can tell anyone who is really affected by it. Like, they don't know you. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, they don't actually know you. They don't know who you are. And they're sitting behind a computer or a phone um, trying to... Yeah, we'll make passing judgment. ...give their two cents yeah, yeah. when they actually don't know exactly. anything about you. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, we're fine with it. I think like you've definitely helped me deal with it better than better than I used to. That's good. So on that note, <laughs> feel free to drop a comment below. Subscribe if you Only like love. what you see. Only love, positivity, and nothing but. Please. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some shade thrown, but that's okay because no, let's not even put that out exactly. there. Exactly. No, it's not okay. We're big believers on like what you believe <laughs> is what comes to fruition. Yeah, absolutely. Is that the word? Fruition. Yeah. Um, no hate. No hate. That's Only positive vibes, please, on this channel. Anyway, thank you for watching us eat food and <laughs> have a little q and I actually watch these kinds of videos. Yeah. Like, well, it was I your idea to do it. And I watch people eating and talking. It's a weird thing, but humans, for some well, reason, are really loving it right when now. When I found out it was a thing, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm into it. Oh, I gotta it. do my fortune still quickly. Yeah, let them know. Let them know how fortunate you are. What type of fortune you got. <laughs> What's that? Show us. I just would, Snap I it off. To, like, Snap it back. Manifest my fortune to be like really good for me. Yeah, these aren't generic, so it's all good. A surprise awaits. Oh, a surprise awaits, huh? Ooh. Mm, what could it be? <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in our next video. them <laughs> no no negative no hot no hate nothing <laughs> like fucking whatever get out of here nothing positivity <laughs> upload that raw